chapter 3, Mishnah 1. We have learned in the previous chapter, Mishnah 6 and 7, that different offerings are brought for sins of an ordinary individual, an anointed Kohen, and a king. This Mishnah discusses a person who sinned while he was an anointed Kohen or king, but was removed from his position before he brought his offering. If an anointed Kohen sinned and thereby became obligated to offer a par Kohen Mashiach, but then... Before he brought his offering, he left his position of anointment. That is, he stopped serving as Kohen Gadol. And similarly, if a king sinned and thereby became obligated to offer the Nasi's Chatas, but then, before he brought his offering, he left his position of importance, that is, he was removed from the throne, the law is as follows. The former anointed Kohen brings a bull, Par Kohen Mashiach, and the former king brings a male goat, the Nasi's Chatas. It is a person's status at the time of his sin that determines what offering he brings. Since this person was an anointed king, was an anointed Kohen or king when he sinned, he brings the offering prescribed for a person of that status, even though he is no longer in that position.